uh, I guess we'll start with just kind of, you know, going into this week, it's a fresh week, uh, but you're going into it wanting to bounce back from last week. So what's the messaging in practice and in shoot around to get ready tonight? Uh, I think the thing, biggest thing is that we're okay, right? And, and learn from what we didn't do well last week, which was kind of sticking with the plan. Um, we got away from what we were doing early in that first quarter and never got back to it. Again, credit goes to Colorado, but there's going to be some ups and downs and that we got to find a way to get back to it and, and specifically speaking on the offensive side of things. Uh, when it comes to the offensive side, there's so much surrounding the Smith and Fields of the world, but your secondary scorers, Ryan Lanchbury, Kyle Waters, uh, what have guys like that meant to this team this season? Uh, it's tremendous, uh, again, because you know, you're going to key Fields, he's going to get their best, Smitty's going to get their 1A, 1B type deal out as far as defenseman goes. And if we have that ability to get everybody else chipping in, we're going to be tough to stop. And, and you go back to our success, it's been that way. Our secondary scoring has taken us to a different level. Um, it's not just on the one, two guys. Uh, I do want to, I guess, repedal there on uh, Ryan Lanchberry. Um, what have you seen from him in terms of his growth from when he first got to you guys here in week two up till now? His confidence. I think when he first got here, it was a, a new surrounding, a new opportunity for him. Um, being around with a bunch of young guys that are his age that he's competed against. And again, they just sort of him and Smitty click right off the bat, but uh, the click just seemed to happen. And again, as the season's progressed, everybody's gotten more comfortable with everybody, and it's just been, been better. Uh, crowd tonight's going to be out for Rock the Rink Night, which is a celebration of the city of Rochester. And we've talked before, so many roads in lacrosse and in the NLL have run through this city at some point or another. Uh, what do you think it means to, to just represent the Nighthawks in a way that you want these fans to be proud of this city and where this team plays? Uh, you know what, blue collar, and again, that's kind of the way we want to play as well. We want to be a little bit mean and nasty, but again, our skill kind of kinds are, comes shining through, I guess, at the end of the day when you know, when we're working as hard as we possibly can for, for the group that's here watching us. Okay. So when you guys are in the huddle just at the end of shoot around and, and Coatsy alluded to, you know, this is this is playoff time. Yeah. What does that mean to the younger players and how do you instill that atmosphere as you're going for a playoff spot? Uh, you know what, again, it's, it's, it's a learning thing. And again, the young guys got to learn what it means to get to a different level. I think, you know, fresh off of what we did last week and I think what we were taught, Colorado took it to a second level in the, in the second half, and uh, that's what's going to take to have success in this league. So let's uh, like do what we do, but there's stages in the game that we got to do it better. When you take a look at a, a team like Halifax, and, you know, we talked about Cody earlier in the week, but I mean they've got a lot of different ways they can score with with Peterson and but Nash like found the fountain of youth somehow. What are you looking at? What do you got to control from them offensively? You know, I try to limit their space as best as we possibly can. Get on hands, get in lanes. Again, kind of do what we have been doing the last few weeks on the defensive side of things. Just make it a little bit more difficult for to, for them to do what they want to do, basically. And again, it's going to start because they got three, four, five guys that push the ball from the defensive end. So we got to make sure we're responsible, eliminate that, and then play five on five. And speaking from the bigger picture, I mean, a lot of the probably about half that team you coached, and not only did you coach, you coached them for a long time. Some of them you drafted. Does that almost kind of give you a, a cheat code because you know their game so well? Not anymore. You know, again, Kirsty's done different things there with that group. Um, again, you know, habits are habits sometimes, but uh, that group is so different that it's, uh, you know, we study them, we want to disrupt what they do, but it's more important what we do. And, if we do what we want to do here, I think we'll have the success we uh, at the end of the 60 here. Okay.